Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to use Google to search for images. And I actually do this quite a bit because I use Google to find images for presentations or blog posts or whatever. And I'm gonna show you some of the tips that I use to find stuff that you may find useful too. So the starting point for using Google search, of course, is google.com. And here's google.com today. I have no idea why there's a running Canadian guy up here, but let's say that I'm looking for images of hummingbirds. So I type hummingbirds and it shows you a bunch of suggested results below that. But let's just say I'm going to start with the big search for hummingbirds. And you'll see that right away, Google will show you some images that are available very helpfully right here in the upper right hand corner. Sometimes you might see advertisements for things, but I have a feeling that uh, for this particular word, hummingbird, there's not many advertisements that are relevant to me, so Google doesn't show it. Anyways, you can either click on this block of images to see more images, or you can just click on this, uh, this little tab here that says images, and it will show you all of the potential images that are there. Now, here's what we're looking at. These are all the images that Google thinks are relevant to me. And if you hover over them, you'll see that you'll see the uh, size of the image. So this right here, it says uh, 400 by 300 hummingbirds.net. Let me blow this up a little bit. 400 by 300 hummingbirds.net. Um, and that means it's 400 pixels wide by 300 pixels tall, located at hummingbirds.net. If I go to this one, uh, capenislands.org, this is a, this is another image, 710 by 473. So you can see the different sources just by hovering over them. Um, and then if you click on it, it'll show you the, uh, the, a larger version of the image. There's a note here, images may be subject to copyright. That means that you may not have the right to copy this image and use it in your presentation or on your blog. I'm gonna get into that in a little bit. And then if you wanna visit the image or visit the page that it's on, you click the visit link. So it's showing me this uh, PBS story about the hummingbirds. Okay, there, there's the image right there. So let's go back to the search results and uh, a couple other things worth mentioning. So one is that it'll show all of these different keywords up here that might relate to your search. So Southern California, I'm assuming that this means hummingbirds that live in Southern California. And it'll show you a different uh, variety of hummingbirds that can survive in the hot temperatures down there. Uh, or you can just restrict it to a bigger area, North America, backyard, so you can keep on clicking through until you find find what you're using. And then you can also, uh, right now, it's, so it's looking for these, these three keywords for hummingbirds. If you want to get rid of them, you can. Okay. Now, here's another thing that's interesting uh, with using Google Images Search. And that is you can restrict them to the type of usage right. And what I mean is, uh, like defenders.org, they may not want you to use this image on your blog or PBS. They may not, this may be a licensed photograph that they purchased or they sent out their photographer to take. And this is something they don't want a blogger to use on their own website because people might be confused about the source or the photographer needs to get paid or whatever. But if you're a blogger or you need to use one of these pictures in your presentations, there's tools you can use to restrict it. And here's, here's how it works. So first of all, click on tools and there's a, there's a uh, tab called Usage Rights. Click on that. And right now it's showing not filtered by license. And license means uh, the permission that you have to, to, to publish it on your website. Um, and there's a couple different types that they have there. This is, ev this is uh, everything, including copyrighted images. And then they let you choose labeled for reuse with modification or labeled for reuse and then non-commercial. And what modification means is that you, let's just search for them right now. So this is labeled for reuse with modifications. This means I can take one of these images and then I can modify it. So for instance, this one comes from wikimedia.org. This is the same uh, source as Wikipedia. I could take this image, I could click on it. I could, uh, you know, save the image, save the image as onto my hard drive and then I could modify it. So maybe, for instance, I want to I want to just get the head. So I could save it to my computer. I could crop it out so just the head of this uh, of this bird is is preserved, and then I could put that on my blog. So that's what the labeled for reuse with modification is. There's another type um, that means labeled for reuse. This means I can reuse them, but maybe I can't I can't modify them. 
Um, and then there's non-commercial, which means that let's say that I'm a, a school teacher. Uh, so school, a school teacher using this for a class presentation, obviously that's non-commercial use. Uh, the, the school teacher is not going to receive extra money for, for doing that. So this means these are images that you can reuse uh, in a non-commercial basis. And you can see that some of the images show up on all the different types of search, which means that it's available for, uh, multi for either commercial or non-commercial use and maybe uh, with or without modification. One other uh, tool that I like to use for these searches is size. And the reason why this is relevant is, as you can see that like as I'm scrolling through, some of these images are really large. Like this image is 4,000 pixels wide by 2,700 pixels tall. But some of them are actually quite small. Like this one is only 1,000 pixels wide. This one's 960. Sometimes you find these images that are uh, like this one. This is on the national, is that the nps.gov? I don't know if that's the, uh, the park service. I think that's the park services website. It's only 450 by 337 pixels wide, which is pretty tiny. And if I try to republish this on a presentation and then put it on a big screen, it might not look that good. So if I want to find just the big pictures, I use the size drop down menu and then I select large or larger than. So if I want to find like the highest quality pictures, 4 MP, that means four, at least 4 megapixels wide, I search for that. So these are the gigantic pictures, like 5,000 pixels wide, 4,000 pixels wide. These are, the, these are really the, uh, the ones that might be most useful. And, of, and these are also labeled for non-commercial reuse, reuse with modification. Uh, I've written a book about Google Drive and Docs, which also includes information about using search in Google Drive and Docs. To get more information about that or my other books, check out in30minutes.com. And thank you so much for watching.